Hello and welcome to another episode of Alpha Audio. Today we have kind of a different device on our table. It's a multi-channel power amplifier. And no, we are not specifically a platform for video or multi-channel audio, but this one is a bit different. Um, and primar, primare, primare. asked us to look at it anyway with a different point of view and well we like different points of view so we said yeah sure send us it send us the uh, new multi-channel amp with a preamp please because we don't have a preamp with four outputs but more on that later first a little bit yeah kind of a history about primare Primare is a uh, audio company from Sweden and they have a well a very Nordic philosophy so to say uh, so they believe in balance and in kind of a well a sober view on electronics and we like that well we're from the Netherlands and we are also quite north so we have kind of the same philosophy in a lot of ways. One of the words we saw a lot on their website is la gomme. And la gomme, or la, la, la gomme, I don't know how to pronounce it honestly, is, uh, it stands for balance. And it's just enough, like the Swedish people say. And um, well, you can see that in their design, you can see that in their pricing, honestly. And you can see it in their manuals, for example. They're very to the point. Another word uh, we Dutch use a lot is uh, gezellig, and uh, they call it hige. But hige uh, means a little bit more. Uh, it's, if you translate it, it's called cozy, but um, it's also, well, it means a little bit more. It has a deeper meaning, like gezellig also is not really cozy. Uh, gezellig is, uh, like the S Swedish also uh, uh, say with Hige, it's a time well spent with family and friends and uh, have a good dinner and have a good glass of wine and stuff like that. Um, and another thing is practical design. Well, you can see it on the table. It's very straightforward. And we'll turn it around later. You can see the back of the amplifier and you will see that there are a lot of possibilities. Um, well, Primare has been building audio for more than 30 years now, and they started at the end of the 80s, so it's almost 40 years, by the way. Uh, but in all those years, you can see that around the, at the end of the 90s, their design became a little bit like this. It's with the 30 series, and the 30 series has been around for a while now. And there's also a 15 or 10 series uh, Prisma, and it's a little bit cheaper. During my time in the hi-fi store uh, at the 2000s, the Primara 30 series were already around, of course, because they st started at the end of the 90s. And I absolutely loved the design. But there was another thing that I noticed during those uh, years is that Primara created um, surround equipment but they also sounded well in stereo. So for the musical, uh, well, the, the, the enthusiasts that like movie and audio, Primara was the best choice in those days. And I think it still is in a way, because you can do a lot more than uh, using eight channels with this power amp. Primari, of course, uses class D uh, in this beast of an amp, because if you wanted to use class AB in a amplifier like this with eight channels, 150 watts, you will run into problems. Either the amp gets huge and very heavy to cool all that power, or it will get ridiculously hot. So they use um, Hypex Encore, I think, I believe, or maybe UCD. I'm not sure. I'll put it in the video description. Um, and they have eight channels of it. So eight modules, and you can use them in bridge mode. You can use them single mode, or uh, yeah, you can do whatever you want. You can run a subwoofer with it uh, if your processor can uh, filter the subwoofer out. You can do all sorts of stuff. The cool thing is it has a 1500 watt power supply. So <laughs> you'll get a power cord with a different plug on it. And if you get an amplifier with a plug like this, you know it's serious business. Um, 
It's because of all the regulations. Uh, the, the normal IAC plug is up to, I think, a thousand watts. And if it gets bigger than 1000 watts, you need a plug like this. It's like the high current uh, power cord. And they will give you a power cord like this in the box. Of course, if you want to have serious quality, you will swap out this for something a little bit better. But it works and we measured the amplifier with this and there's nothing wrong with the power cord. It will deliver the power you need. Uh, about the measurements, I instantly saw the, uh, the Class D graphs, really low distortion, huge amount of power, and a little bit higher distortion in 4 ohms. Well, that's with most power amplifiers, honestly. Um, but we are getting into the uh, measurements already, and I didn't want to go there instantly, but well, now we're into measurements, uh, I can tell you a little bit more about it. This amp has eight channels uh, of power amplification. It will give you 75 watts in 8 ohms. It will give you 150 watts in 4 ohms, but you can bridge each stereo output. And that's the cool part. So Primaris said, do you want to do something cool with this amp? Uh, so you can use it as a hi-fi amp. I said, yeah, sure, what, what can we do with it? Well, if your speaker allows uh, bi-amping, you can do uh, two pairs each speaker so you can bridge each output and use it as uh, four mono amps so to say so oh that's a cool idea and then i realized that i was about to put out four times 600 watts into a loudspeaker because we measured this <laughs> it will do 600 watts in bridge on four ohms so if uh, you have a 4 ohm loudspeaker, you can potentially use up to 2.4 kilowatts in this amp. That's a lot of power. I'm not sure it will be able to deliver that continuously because the power supply cannot deliver up to 1500 watts continuously. Um, and that's still a lot of power, uh, one and a half kilowatts. Uh, that's why you need this power cord, by the way. But uh, it is a pretty cool idea. So if you have a, a preamp that can do two times stereo out on balanced, for example, or single-ended for whatever you want, uh, this power amp can do uh, four channels in bridge. Well, something about the Class D, because it's kind of different. We reviewed a couple of Primare amps before, and what we noticed is, it is, is that it doesn't sound like Class D in any way. They use Hypex Class D in this amplifier, that's for sure. I, I instantly recognized the distortion graphs and the power delivery and the, yeah, well, the frequency response even is, is quite the same as all the other Hypex modules, but there's more than measurements. Distortion doesn't say anything about musicality and power output doesn't say anything about musicality. So uh, it, it does say that they meet their specifications and that's a good thing of course because some producers don't, we noticed. But Primara creates its own power supply and its own input stage and that makes a Primara Class D amp a little bit different. It's more fluent, it's more yeah, it's more smooth, uh, I think. If you build a DIY Hypex Class D amp, it sounds very good. And if you build a Class D uh, Eigentag DIY amp, it sounds really good. But just like the NAD C298 sounds better than the DIY Eigentag, this Primaris sounds better than the DIY Hypex kits. It's just more smooth and it's just more natural and it's, I think, even more dynamic. I don't know, it, the, the Prisma i15 sounds really well for an amplifier in that, in that price class. So, the A35.8, because we're getting way off topic now, uh, a very impressive A-channel power amp. You can do a lot more than just run eight channels. You can bridge each stereo output so you have four high power outputs, in, ca in which case you can potentially bi-amp your stereo loudspeakers. And that's a very cool feature we're about to uh, review. I just wanted to say something about this power amp. Oh, by the way, it's around 5,000 euros. 
yeah, it's a lot of money, but you get eight channels and one and a half kilowatts of continuous power. That's a lot of power. We'll write down the review about our experiment with bi-amping with this eight channel Primara amp. But uh, this was a first look on the A35.8. Hope you liked it. Hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.